Hi, Gemini, and welcome to your Spring Equinox Ostara reading. We are talking about spring coming up here, right? This is a time where things are starting to grow again. Things are starting to bud. It's a rebirth. It's an awakening. Uh, getting ready maybe to start your little... Um, seeds for your garden or for your flowers or maybe you're starting to plan what flowers you're buying for this year basically we're letting go of the cold dark months okay we're, we're moving into brighter days warmer days and you know it's just simply a time of growth that's what spring is renew <laughs> renew awakening so let's get right into your reading here um, and just because we're doing this at spring equinox whenever you see this reading it is okay right these are timeless readings so what is the overall energy of this spring equinox for you gemini inspiration Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. Pretty, pretty straightforward. <laughs> I like that. So overall message for you this spring, inspiration. Let's take a look at the rest of the cards, ask some more questions. We'll be doing live tarot and oracle at the end too. So what seeds should you be planting for yourself? We have the gnomes, humanity, friendship, Hard work, little visions. With the Hia, I believe it's called, um, of Earth, or the Page of Pentacles. Well, now. I like this with the page of pentacles, right? The pages are always, as I say, young, curious. They love learning new things. But the page of pentacles, he may be a little more regimented than the other pages, even though they're young and, and curious and full of youth, we'll say. But they're really um, focused on manifestation. They're really focused on new opportunities, even maybe when it comes to finances. And look at all the green here, okay? Um, developing new skills that they're not afraid of some hard work. Because what I'm seeing here is hard work and little visions. And with inspiration, well, isn't that so perfect? Because that reminds me, even though it's green, it reminds me of that Sagittarius or Jupiter energy, fire energy in general, right? Being inspired about things, being passionate about things, um, having grand visions like, say, the King of Wands, where you see things big picture and you have great ideas and you want to um, make them happen. And I feel that... This is saying, you know, what seeds should you be planting for yourself? What, what big plans have you been thinking about? What big dreams do you have? What uh, big visionary ideas do you have? Is it about humanitarianism? Is it with friendships? It's going to be different for everyone. But there is something that I want to say for you, Gemini, and you guys are the idea people and you have a lot of them. And I know that that is a bit of, um, you know, <clears throat> putting Gemini into a box, but you are quick thinkers. Usually you can have many different ideas and things that you want to do on the go. It doesn't speak to all Geminis, but it is a Gemini energy. Okay. So I feel that you probably have a lot of great ideas or a lot of things that you've been working hard on. And maybe you just haven't actually planted the seed yet. You've been thinking about it, but you haven't actually started taking the steps to make it happen, to bring it to manifestation. And this is your message. You know what? It's time you start getting serious about manif manifesting this. It's time you start getting serious about um planting those seeds, getting outside, doing the hard work and making those, I'm not saying little visions, that's what the card says, your big visions, your big picture thoughts, feelings, dreams into reality. You need to plant those seeds. I talk about this also in new and full moon readings um, every month. You can check them out in a playlist. New moon is about planting the seeds. Full moon is releasing and letting go. And the great thing about it is, 
um, based on your rising sign, or if you don't know that, your sun sign, I actually give you the area that you can focus on, okay, in your life. So very interesting if you want to check those out. We have a full moon coming up not too, too far away now. But what I want to say here is, for you, Gemini, now is the time. So again, whatever those visions the dreams, the passion, whatever it is that you've been thinking about, now is the time to plant the seeds for that. This will be different for each and every one of you. But that's what you need to do. This You, you need to bring your inspiration, what it is that you're power, um, power, <laughs> what it is that you are passionate about and maybe feel quite powerful even <laughs> towards or about. You need to, to bring you need to you need to bring it to reality. You need to bring it to grounded reality again with all this green. Okay. Now, how can you nurture the growth of of these seeds? Maybe it's one thing, maybe it's two or three, I don't know. Ayahuasca. Well, you could you could go on a little ayahuasca trip, right? <laughs> maybe you'll learn something while while under the influence. Um I'm not promoting that. That is just, that was a joke. If that's what you do, then that's fine. But uh, it's rebirth. How can you nurture the growth of these seeds? Is believing in, I want to say, is, is, is believing that there is something that needs to come to light. But I feel the rebirth is actually you because I feel the rebirth is you finally understanding that you are a very creative and passionate and, and inspired person. And those those visions, dreams, again, your, I'm going to say your hardworking imagination, right? It's time for you. This is a time of rebirth. It's spring. We talked about this already. But for you, Gemini, it's almost a rebirth of you. Maybe you were letting these things lie dormant before. Maybe you were just treating them as dreams and imagination. And you just never thought you could actually start start bringing them into reality by by planting those seeds, nurturing them, doing the hard work and asking spirit, God, source, universe, or whomever it is for you to help you out. Because if they see you doing the hard work, it's time for change. Look at the five there, right? Rebirth and 50 could be important to you or five zero, right? Um, or sorry, five zero would be a five. Again, change. It, it's, it's, it's time for change in your life. And maybe that's where what is going to inspire you is just to make the change. And for some of you, it can be in different areas. These don't all need to tie together. Some some of the readings do, some of them don't. It, it just depends. <laughs> I guess it depends on what message spirit has for what sign. But now, in order for this new growth to happen, there is probably going to be something that you need to clear out, that you need to let go of, that could be holding you back. Let's see. Acceptance. Valerian with four of air lavender oh oh okay i don't know a lot about valerian but i i don't know why i want to say does um does valerian is that not a plant i know for herbal remedies is it something that would be considered like um you know, like a drug um, nowadays. <laughs> I don't know, maybe valerian is the the root of something that they use of that plant. I'm not sure. But like calming, right? Like we could say it's like Valium or um, Prozac or something like that. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, you know, something like Ativan. I don't know, right? Like it's it's something that calms you down. And even with lavender, you know, we put lavender in baths for calming and soothing. We we diffuse lavender to be calming and soothing. We spray it on our pillows at night to be calming and soothing to help us sleep better. I've even rolled it on the heels or soles of my feet. So what is something you need to let go of? I think anxiety. 
I think you're having a lot of anxiety about this maybe. And maybe that's why you've never pursued these dreams and these visions, right? Maybe that's why you've, you, you've never let the inspiration flow because you've you are anxious about it or you are um, worried, uh, you have anxiety over it. That is maybe what has been holding you back. For some of you, this just could be the message that, you know what, in order to make room for any new growth in your life, the anxiety needs to be let go of. Very important message here, Gemini. If it resonates, it resonates. Maybe for some of you, again, see your doctor if you are having any kind of mental health issues, okay? Um, but at home, you could bathe. You could get lavender shower bombs. You could diffuse lavender. You could roll it on your feet at night to help you sleep, okay? You could spray it on your pillow. Um, but for medication and serious health issues, of course, you see a medical professional. Now... Let's get into what will come, or sorry, what part of your life is waking up or about to blossom this season? Healing, oh geez, look at that. With the Ace of Earth. Oh, you guys, Gemini, Gemini. This is a season of healing for you. Right? Again, you you can take and, and apply this to each one, or we can look at these as separate individual messages or some of them tying together. But being that it's following here, I really feel, well, but it can even apply to, you know, like being inspired. When we're not feeling well, especially mentally, um, well, you know what, mentally, emotionally, or physically, you know, you're not feeling real inspired to, to put the hard work in to, you know, switch things up. I didn't even talk about the six of air here either. Let, I'll come back to that in a minute. But I feel like maybe there is some healing that needs to be done here. And with the air sign and with Aries, Aries is fire, but this is the air sign here with healing. And this is geranium. I feel like it really may be more of a a mental, right? A mental healing that needs to happen. The Ace of Earth here with Nettle. Again, another plant that can sting sometimes. I don't know about stinging Nettle. I mean, I know it exists and I hear people talking about it. Um, I've never experienced it, but this is the Ace of Earth right? This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a time for you to get grounded for a new beginning, a rebirth here. And look at the, look at this card, all this greenery and one little butterfly. And we know that butterflies represent transformation, right? A rebirth or just birth in general um, of something new. Letting go of that old, maybe this anxiety, whatever it is, and moving on to something new and better for yourself. And that comes up to this six of air or the six of swords. That is moving from where things maybe have been a little rocky, a little wavy, a little turbulent into calmer areas in your life. And, and it said, right, like, how can you nurture the growth of these new seeds? You may need to, again, let go of the anxiety. That could be the rocky for you, the wavy, the turbulent. And to have this rebirth, there's healing that needs to be done. And I feel like this is all coming up for you, Gemini, in the spring. There's healing that needs to be done, a rebirth. But you also are planting the seeds up here, right? To really bring that inspired visions, bringing those inspired visions of yours to life. So different messages for different people. If this all relates to you, then that's your message, right? But it won't be for everyone. Now, what will come back to you over the coming weeks? Or is something being renewed? And look, starry night acceptance. 
with the nine of earth. Oh, thank heavens, this is a happy card. I love this. Okay. Here's what I want to say, Gemini. Starry night made me think of wish upon a star. Maybe for some of you, what we're talking about dreams and wishes, inspired visions. Maybe this is you have been wishing upon a star. You have been talking to spirit. You have been trying to manifest this. And maybe now's the time for it to start happening, to start, you know, you plant that seed and it starts growing roots, right? I feel like that's what's going to be coming. I feel like you're going to you're going to root down, ground down, right? I feel like this is all very airy up in your head. And you need to get look here, a nice grounded fresh new start. Some healing needs to happen. You need to to have a rebirth, move on from from what isn't serving you here. And with the nine of earth or the nine of pentacles and apples, look, apples are sweet. Think of all the beautiful desserts and dishes that can be made with apples. And seriously, there isn't a bad one, okay? So this is very positive. And the nine of pentacles is you mastering this, you putting the hard work in, and you overcoming it on your own. This doesn't mean that people aren't going to help you if you need help. It means you made the decision yourself to make things better, to plant those seeds, nurture them, put in the hard work and watch them grow. Or this is the decision for you to heal. This is the decision for you to leave the anxiety behind. And when that happens, good things, okay? You know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, all right? Good things will, will happen for you. And I, I just feel like over the coming weeks and even over the spring time that you are going to start seeing this happen and the acceptance is going, wow, I didn't think that if I actually did the work or if I, if I stepped out of... Um, my way of being and moving on to somewhere where it's calmer and better that things would actually start happening for me. I'd be able to heal. The anxiety would lessen. I could start making my dreams and wishes come true. Beautiful message for you, Gemini. I feel like there will be some hard work in here for you. But um, like, again, I said, it can be different messages for different different people or you can see how these can tie together let's get some more tarot before we get your mantra and before we get the crystal that you can work with at this time four of wands celebration okay the four of wands, I also like to think of as balance. Look, she's like standing like I I climbed up the stairs. I've made it to the top. It's time to celebrate. They're saying you can reach this the top of this mountain. You're down in the depths right now. Maybe for some of you, you can reach the top. Whether it's making these dreams and wishes come true or dealing with the anxiety the healing, whatever it may be. So I love that confirmation. Now let's get, okay, we actually had two come out perfect. We have the two of swords and the chariot. Well, the two of swords is you've come to a crossroads right now. And maybe this is the message that you're hearing at your crossroads. Am I going to stay without ever planting the seeds for my dreams and my, my inspiration to come true? Or am I going to choose not to or to plant those seeds? Am I going to choose to heal and let go of the anxiety? Or am I going to choose to stay there and just accept that rather than what could be better, which is the celebration, reaching the top of the mountain, the success. And then we have the chariot. Well, I love the chariot because the chariot for me is always go time. This is spirit coming through and saying for you, Gemini, now is the time. You're at the crossroads here. You need to make the decision. Am I going to am I going to stay or am I going to go? Which path am I taking? The path of just staying where everything is exactly as it is now or changing things up. I love this message for you. Let's get your mantra card here. 
This is something that you can say to yourself every day. This is something that you can repeat several times a day. It could just be inspiration for you right now to get you going to come out. We'll take both of them. First one is, I am a good friend to myself and others. It's a friendship bracelet. Oh yeah, look at all the, the beat it bracelets here. I love that, okay? I am a good friend to myself and others. That may be an important message for you. Magic starts with me, the magic circle. I think of that for crocheting, right? I am a crocheter too. But magic starts with me. It's true. All of this starts always, anything. When you come to that crossroad, it's you who makes the decision, not anyone else. So if you want to bring this magic and this luck and this beauty, this inspiration into your life, you are going to choose to do that for yourself, Gemini, okay? I hope you choose the path of change. <laughs> I think spirit hopes that too, that you hop on your chariot. And I want to say you go to the right, but um, we do have free will. And we, uh, you know, nobody can make us do anything really that we don't want to do. So I just hope and pray that for you, that is the choice you make, okay? Uh, let's get you a crystal. There's only a few. These are crystals that, that kind of relate to Spring Equinox or o Ostara, okay? So let me um, just, I'm going to not look and also just, it could be noisy, so hang on. Amethyst. This amethyst has been coming out now for a bunch of people. And it's not like I'm not feeling the other ones. I don't even, oh, anyway, it's just, it's just interesting. So amethyst, look, this is boosting your intuitive abilities. So what I want to say is, you know, Gemini, you are an air sign. That can mean that you do tend to be up in your head a little more. Lots of thoughts, lots of ideas swirling around. Um, but with the amethyst, it's you need to start using your intuition more. You need to boost that intuitive ability where you're not just, I want to say, flying by the seat of your pants when you're all up in your head, but you're balancing that out with your intuitive knowing, not just your mental knowing, right? You need mental clarity and your intuition working together here, okay? and trusting that and trusting that to help you through these situations. So that is your main reading, Gemini. Thank you for being here and I will see you in your next reading.